After a journey lasting a hundred million years, an enormous chunk of cosmic rock is approaching the end of the line. And the end of the line is Earth. In what is today central Mexico, a herd of Alamosaurus is wandering the plains in search of food. They're a recent species to evolve, and even by dinosaur standards, they're huge. They're the last of the sauropods, the biggest animals ever to walk the earth. 20 meters long and a staggering 12 meters tall, Alamosaurus weigh up to 30 tons. To maintain that bulk, they need to eat up to a ton of leaves every day. A vast herd like this one strips the landscape of vegetation in just a few hours. Because she's a nomad on a constant search for food, when it's time for this female to lay her eggs, she doesn't nest. She simply lays eggs in groups of five or six to improve the chances that some will survive. Under normal conditions, only one in 3,000 will produce a mature Alamosaurus. But the odds stacked against these eggs are about to get astronomical. Because now, just 20 minutes away, two trillion tons of rock is racing right at them. The asteroid fragment's enormous mass is only part of the threat. The other part is velocity. But as it gets closer to the planet, the Earth's gravitational pull gets stronger, and the asteroid accelerates past 65 to 72,000 kilometers per hour. And mass times acceleration equals force. As the asteroid encounters atmosphere, friction turns it into a fireball. Swooping over the Atlantic and aimed at Mexico and the Alamosaurus. It takes just four minutes to cross the ocean. It crushes and superheats the air surrounding it, transforming gas and debris into white hot plasma. At 20,000 degrees, it's burning brighter than a million suns. the atmosphere. Impact seems instantaneous. But hidden within the cataclysm are a series of discrete events invisible to the naked eye, but key to understanding what follows. The asteroid's trajectory is shallow. It flies in at about a 30 degree angle to the surface. This means the full brunt of its destructive power will be thrown to the north of the impact point. Even before the fireball touches down, its sheer brightness in the sky is unimaginable. Eight hundred kilometers from ground zero, the light is so intense, it makes the Alamosaurus flesh seem transparent. burns flash frames of their shadows onto the ground. The scorching light sears their eyeballs. They have no way of seeing what's headed their way. But they can feel it. An explosive force of a hundred million megatons. More powerful than all the nuclear weapons ever built. If the 
the asteroid had crashed into deep ocean, some of the force would have been absorbed. Instead, it hits the shallow waters of the Gulf of Mexico, which instantly vaporize. In a fraction of a second, the entire asteroid disintegrates into the planet. Earth and rock also vaporize and are hurled skyward at 150,000 kilometers an hour. Behind them, 120,000 cubic kilometers of the Earth's crust explodes from the ground. 800 kilometers from the crash site, the air temperature now reaches over 300 degrees, hot enough to boil away the water in the dinosaur's skin, which escapes in sudden bursts of steam. The fiery blasts suck every drop of moisture from the vegetation. Anything directly exposed to the blistering heat is simply broiled alive. Just 108 seconds after impact in the Gulf of Mexico, the bright streams of vaporized rock can be seen in prehistoric British Columbia. From their cliff-top roofs, a breathing pair of Quetzalcoatlus can see the glow of the fireball high above the horizon, 5,000 kilometers away. That's how big it is. Just two minutes have passed since the asteroid slammed into the Earth. The body count back near the crash site is immense. Surprisingly, there are survivors. Those lucky enough to be shielded by a mountain are spared the worst of the light and heat blasts. But three more waves of destruction are coming. On impact, boulders the size of buildings blasted into the air at supersonic speeds. What goes up must come down. Hundreds of surviving Alamosaurus are bombarded from above. A second wave hits from below. measuring 11.1 on the Richter scale. Nearly 60 times more powerful than any earthquake humans have experienced. The third wave is the blast pulse wave, radiating outward in a perfect circle. into the air like so many rag dolls. Just five minutes have passed since impact, and three waves of destruction have decimated an entire species. Many other species of dinosaur in the region share the Alamosaurus fate. Most of the eggs, too, have been destroyed. And yet the Earth is a powerful protector. Some eggs buried in the cool ground have survived. New Alamosaurus life is growing. There is still hope. For now. So here's the deal. 